Unfortunately, hindi tayo naturuan kung paano mag-manage ng pera, paano ito palaguin, or paano ito gamitin sa tama. That's why most of us Filipinos are poor because we were not taught about the right way of handling our personal finances. So, isi-share ko sa inyo today yung mga bagay na natutunan ko about handling my personal finances, hoping that somehow it can help you as well. First thing is the concept of wants versus needs. Ever since I actually accepted or absorbed this concept or naisa puso ko tong concept na to, it helped me a lot to control my spendings. I would always ask myself every time na may bibili nako, like kailangan ko ba to or gusto ko lang siya. Kasi pag meron tayong gustong bilhin, mabilis tayong mag-decide, right? Yan yung tinatawag na impulsive buying. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> Kaya madalas hindi tayo makaipon or suki tayo ng tinatawag na sweldo de peligro. Diba yung bago mag-15 or katapusan, eh wala na tayong budget. So itong concept na to is nakatulong siya sa akin to avoid impulsive buying and control my spendings. The second thing is the 50-30-20. Baka alam na to ng marami sa inyo, but the question you need to ask yourself right now is, do you actually do it? Na-apply ba natin siya sa pera natin? Kasi sa akin malaking tulong siya para ma-allocate ko yung pera kung saan siya pupunta. Ilang percent ng income ko yung mapupunta sa savings, sa bills, and yung matitira is for the wants. So yung 50-30-20 concept can be modified depende sa tao, but at least this can be your guide. The idea is the 50% goes to your revolving fund. Ito yung mga needs mo, like bills, food, and personal care, etc. 20% is to your savings, so this should go directly to your savings account. Yung remaining 30% is going to be your wants. Now again, this formula may change depende sa yo. If gusto mong gawing 30% yung savings, i-adjust mo lang. So it really depends on person to person. But again, you can use this concept to start managing your finances. How personally, pag gusto na, nag-compute na ako nyan. Then kung ano lang yung matira, doon ako mabubuhay. <laughs> Kasi nung hindi ko pa ito ina-apply, feeling ko ang lakas ko gumastos. So malaking tulong talaga tong concept na to on my personal finances. The third thing is create an emergency fund. I think mga 23 years old ako noon, bumili ako ng lumang MacBook. Kung familiar kayo ron sa kulay puti na MacBook na makapal, I think 2008 pa yata yun, ganyan. Nakahanap ako online nung nagbebenta ng second hand. So, nung namit kami, mukha siyang disenteng tao, naka-polo barong siya noon, nagmeet kami sa Starbucks. So, mukha talaga siyang may pera naman, mukha siyang may pera talaga. So, habang sinacheck ko na yung MacBook, tinanong ko siya, sabi ko, anong reason mo for selling? Usually, lagi natin tinatanong yan. And yung sagot niya sa akin is kailangan niya ng funds para sa pag apply niya sa bagong trabaho ang papasokan niya. Kaya halos palugi niya ng binenta yung MacBook niya na yun. Sobrang mura, sobrang ganda ng deal talaga na yun. Now, not to judge this guy na again mukhang desente. Back then, as a 23-year-old, tinatanong ko yung sarili ko kung bakit wala man lang ba siyang naitabi for himself. Again, I assume na maganda naman yung work niya. Then a few years after, fast forward, nalaman ko yung concept of creating an emergency fund. Emergency fund is yung equivalent ng 3 to 6 months na sweldo mo ngayon. So that to may mga emergency, like may nagkasakit sa family, o kaya nasiraan ng motor, or ng sasakyan, or yon kung kailangan mo mag-apply sa bagong trabaho. Hindi ka masyadong mahihirapan. Also, may iwasan mo rin na umutang if you have an emergency fund. So napakagandang lesson ito for me and thankful ako na natutunan ko siya and na-apply ko siya sa sarili ko nung nag-transfer ako from my previous job to my current job because I was able to finance myself sa mga gasos ko sa paglipat ko sa bagong trabaho. So, pang-apat na lesson na natutunan ko about finances is you need to create at least three bank accounts. Open ka ng at least tatlong bank accounts whether it's on the same bank or magkakaibang banko basta at least three accounts. One bank account should be your revolving fund. Dito sa revolving fund mo, kukunin yung mga panggasos mo sa sarili mo, sa mga needs mo, sa mga bills mo, and other utilities. Second bank account should be your emergency fund, which is by now, alam nyo na kung anong purpose nun. So ideally, yung emergency fund mo is may ATM para in case of emergency nga, at least padali mo siyang mawi-withdraw. The third thing should be your savings account. So dito na ikaw mag-iipon, and dito mo na rin kukunin yung mga investable funds mo, o yung mga portion of your savings na pwede mong ilagay sa investments like BUL or UITFs or pwede mo rin gamitin sa business. Which leads me to our number 5 lesson and that is create a startup business. In my opinion, habang bata pa maganda na matuto tayo na gumawa ng business. Kasi magkakamali at magkakamali tayo. And kapag bata pa tayo, we have a lot of room 
for mistakes. Ma-afford pa natin na matalo kesa kapag matanda na tayo. So start even a small business kasi personally, dito ako natuto na magpahalaga sa pera. Dahil din sa business, mas nakokontrol ko gumastos. Nababawasan yung paggasos ko sa mga wants ko and instead nilalaan ko na lang sa business. To earn extra money instead of spending it. So guys, let me know in the comment section kung alin sa mga tips na to yung nagustuhan nyo. Also, don't forget to hit the like button if nagustuhan nyo itong video natin ngayon. And subscribe to my channel kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for always supporting our channel. Salamat sa lahat ng mga comments and likes and your overall support to this channel. Again, thank you guys for watching and as always, see you in my next video. Peace!